Hello, friends. Um, I know many of you missed us last week. Uh, we were having some technical difficulties. I was up working on a Senate event, and I got so many sad face emojis from the rest of the staff saying, we wish we could have done this today. So we're back with you today. People are looking really fresh. Anne Marie's got a new hairdo. Pastor Don is Pastor Don, like always. I tried to grow a handlebar mustache, and it moved up my head, and now it's growing out the side of my head. But it's COVID time, so everything is okay. So we're happy to be with you and have a few things to share. And Pastor Don, why don't you start us off? Yeah, well, good to see, you. good to be with all of you again. Um, yeah, this this uh, stuff on my face, you know, it's been a lot of years since I did that, and I guess that's kind of recycling me or something. I don't know, but anyway, um, here we are. Uh, so I want to remind you again, uh, and I'm encouraged, and I hope you all feeling good about it. The Wednesday night series on. Uh, the color of compromise, uh, good discussions and good input. And, and we got a lot of good material and I, I encourage you to, to be a part of that as, as you are able and, and to stay with it. You'll just follow this through and you will, I know some of it's challenging and that's okay. Uh, we don't have to, uh, some of these things we haven't heard that many times before. So, so we wanna take an honest look at where the church has been and the whole issue racism in, in this country and uh, and so that's uh, important I again encourage all of you to keep in touch with each other it's wonderful last Sunday having the live streaming from all across a lot of good responses there and a good service and I thank everyone who was uh, very much a part of that uh, so in those conversations uh, Tom will probably say more about it maybe we're continuing to consider what uh, kind of worship might be uh, in our near future and uh, obviously keeping safe following what uh, cautions there are that we need to from county state and and uh, still wanting to be more and more connected uh, together as we see each other face to face so but for now uh, stay healthy keep safe uh, keep keep doing what you're doing keep in touch thank you Thank you, Pastor Don. Uh, Patricia, back from Washington. Yes. Um, how are you doing? What's going on? Um, yes. Yeah, so um, looking forward to seeing everybody on Wednesday night, like Pastor Don said. Uh, but there is another opportunity on Friday night, this Friday night at 7 p.m. The link is on the web page. Um, a couple of minutes of just spending time together as a Bethel family um, in prayer and uh, just loving up one another. Um, so just a reminder about that, that, uh, you know, especially during these times, uh, there is, we're going to have some couple minutes to spend together and, um, and share in prayer, which then reminds us about all the love that's around us too. So hope to see you Friday, 7 p.m. Link on webpage, really easy button to push and see you there. <laughs> Take Thank you, Patricia. I'm Anne-Marie from the beach. Go for it. Um, yeah. Hi, everyone. I don't really have a lot. I just want to say um, we had our annual meeting um, at the end of September, and to thank everyone who came, we had over 80 people um, as part of that. Really wonderful to um, have that many participate and you know show their engagement with Bethel. We approved our budget um, and um, are really moving moving forward very well. Um, also, just. Uh, quick comment. Uh, you'll be hearing more uh, coming up soon, um, maybe in a week or so from the call committee. Um, we are moving forward as well and getting very, very close to submit our ministry site profile, which will be the first step in then being able to get some candidate names. So keep praying for us, please. Um, it's really important during this time um, that the candidate that God wants for us um, comes through in our process. Awesome. Thank you, Anne-Marie. I'm uh, Amanda. Yes, thank you, Tom. Um, we're just getting excited for an event we have at the end of the month. It's our Imagination Parade, socially distant um, games and activities, scavenger hunt for um, the Kid Connection kids. Um, I'm getting quite a sign up, so people are really excited. And um, the entire congregation has a way to participate in that um, I know. <laughs> and <laughs> if you would like to donate candy, <laughs> um, we would um, gladly um, 
appreciate that. Uh, you can leave it at the office at a box. Leslie will put a box outside the door on Tuesdays and Thursdays from nine to noon. So if you would like to be a part of that and kind of um, in that, um, just feel what the kids are gonna be doing because you'll be connected in that way. That'd be really cool. Um, and we are going to take a lot of pictures so you'll get to see what we did. So we'll, you'll definitely be able to see um, what a fun event it will be. So thank you. Well, thanks, Amanda. Yeah, so last weekend, we had a great weekend uh, up at Mount Cross for the worship service, which was uh, super fun, and that at Ludwig's for the Oktoberfest. Um, over 60 people participated between the in-person and the Zoom part, and uh, our hope was that not only was it fun to be together, but also to get a little glimpse into um, how businesses are working these days and um, to give us more uh, understanding, compassion, patience, and uh, desire to kind of help support uh, those folks. So if you have businesses that you're a small business in your area that you really care about, make sure you get out and support them. Um, they, really need, uh, they really need our help too. Uh, a couple of things coming up. Um, we are uh, looking at possibly with our county moving into a new color scheme, orange, very nice for the fall and my favorite. Um, so as those things start to happen, it will um, hopefully positive, positively affect how we can do worship as well as um, meetings on our facility. So stay tuned and we will update you um, as we know how. So in the meantime, keep, keep taking care of each other, keep loving people, and uh, we will see you again, uh, let's say next week for sure. All right, see ya.